dropouts. They are considered criminals, failures, lazy, rebels, and uneducated. The downfall of society. But what does it mean to be a dropout? Every 26 seconds, another student drops out of high school, resulting in more than 7,000 students dropping out every day. The goal of this documentary is to explore the truth of what dropping out is really like. When you hear the word dropout, what do you think? Uh, high school dropout? Yes. That's what I think of. Or college dropout, school dropout. That's somebody that quits, <laughs> you know, just gives up. What do you think? It's basically the same thing, someone who quit. I guess failure? I think it's somebody that's not going anywhere in their life. I imagine they, you know, work at local places, restaurants, food establishments, minimum wage type jobs, uh, or blue collar doing, you know, contract road work, trash men, a lot of stuff that doesn't require much education. You know, there's always uh, the diamond in the rough um, who comes up with Facebook, Google, but in, in general, if you want to go and raise a family and have some nice stuff and stroll around on a Tuesday, you know, and buying groceries and walking back to your place, if you want to do something like that, I think traditional college is the way to go, but I think you got to be wise and pick the right courses. Although the public clearly has a negative view on dropouts, there are people with everyday problems and they have hopes and dreams for positive lives in the future. Youth describe their personal experiences as they come to the conclusion that dropping out was the only option. People go to school to make money. People think like that's how it would get explained to us from a young age. You go to school to make money. If it seems like you're not making money and you're just in school, people think of a quicker way, which is maybe sometimes selling drugs, dropping out to do other things, and that's what most people drop out to do, other things that get the money faster than staying in school 12 years and waiting to find a job. I knew plenty of people that dropped off for various reasons, whether pregnancy, sicknesses, um, you know, family deaths, feeling the need that, you know, their parents passed away so they had to, you know, have some type of hustle. Even if it wasn't legitimate, they had to have, you know, some type of knowledge, whether it was street knowledge or, you know, educational credibility, just to, you know, provide for their families. It depends on the household, I believe. Like, the people in your household and the people that you're around to motivate you. Because some people think it's okay to drop out. Some parents have it that it's okay to drop out. When their kids drop out, they want to follow it to their parents. But then you have some kids that look at their parents and be like, well, my mom, my dad, they dropped out. I don't want to be like this. I want to be better. Well, I dropped out of my first year of college. That's when I dropped out. So it just felt like after I did that whole, the first two semesters, I just was like, okay, well, I don't like, I want to be in school, but at the same time, I want to do what I want to do with my life. And now is when I need to do it. There was times that I felt the need to not want to go to school and they would just say, Latoya, you have to go to school, do it for yourself, do it, you know, if it's not for your family, do it for yourself. Wake up, eat, take a shower, get dressed, sit in the house watching Marvin and Jerry Springer, um, going to my friend's house, chilling all day and all night, and coming home doing the same thing next day. After talking to students, dropping out didn't meet their expectations. Life continued to be a struggle, and some realized that getting an education is necessary to progress. Life like out of school is real. It's hard. <laughs> it really is. It really is. It's like the school of hard knocks out of school. I mean, I already knew that it was going to be hard, you know, to do things because you don't have no diploma or you're not in school. So I prepared myself for that. Well, I heard a lot of stories, so I expected it to be hard. Then I expected it to be easy because I had friends that dropped out and they would just chill. But after a while, I got tired of chilling, and I'm like, this is the same routine every day. I didn't want to continue this for the rest of my life. The truth about students who dropped out is that they value their education and the majority believe and dream about returning to school to get their degree. And they encourage others to do so. When I told them I dropped out, they'd be like, what, you dropped out? Oh, you're going to be retarded, you're never going to be nothing, you're going to be in welfare and all that. And it just, just hurt my feelings. So I was like, I'm going to do what I have to do, take my diploma and succeed. I started thinking, like, I wanted more for myself. I didn't want to just sit around. I wanted to be able to get a job. And then when I do job searching, everything say high school diploma or GED. So I knew if I wanted something, a career rather than a job, then I was going to have to go back to school. I just felt if I couldn't do it for myself, then do it for my mom because she did a lot for me. So I went, went back to school for her. And when I actually got in school, I just kind of figured, like, the rest could be for me.
go to class, do what you gotta do, get them good grades, be on time, leave on time. <laughs> um, it was easy, like, you just do what you're supposed to do and you'll get it done. You may not find the best job with a high school diploma, but you'll find a better job than a person without a diploma. I would say don't drop out, just keep doing it. It may be hard, but you can do it. And the people that's already dropped out, I would, I would tell them that they should go back to school because there's nothing out here. If you don't have education, you don't have nothing. Education is extremely valued in today's society. For those who decide to stray from the path of life that was designated for us to succeed, does that mean that they won't be successful? Dropping out is a tough decision, and those who have made that choice do so under tough circumstances. And it was hard, but one day I just realized that I had to get back in school and get my diploma. I don't believe that if you drop out, you're a failure. I just believe if you drop out, you just need some time to get yourself together. But once you drop out and you really get yourself together and you go back to school, I think that's I think that's accomplishing more than people that stayed in because you actually had a downfall and you came up from your downfall.